Well, so far we've been talking about positive things about the heart today. We talk about a condition of the heart that is not too positive, and that is the hardened heart. Mark chapter 8, verse 17. But Jesus, being aware of it, said to them, Why do you reason because you have no bread? Do you not yet perceive nor understand? Is your heart still hardened? Jesus rebuked his disciples because he said they had a hardened heart. The word that Jesus used, and that is translated as hardened, carries the idea of covering something with a thick skin, a thick skin, or becoming dull in understanding. So though Jesus was the world's greatest teacher, uh, his disciples struggled to understand him. They had great difficulty in catching his message. So it's possible for the best things to be taught to you and you have a thick skin over your understanding and be dull of understanding. That condition is called a hardened heart. Nothing sinks through it. Nothing goes through it. And in this passage, the disciples of Jesus had misinterpreted a statement that Jesus made. He talked about leaven, the leaven of the Pharisees, and because leaven is the same as yeast, immediately they had leaven. They didn't even put it in context. They thought he was talking about bread. Uh, and, and so they, they asked themselves, is it because we have no bread? We didn't carry any bread? And Jesus comes and says, what's wrong with you? Didn't you understand that when I said leaven, I talk about the leaven of the, of the Pharisees, and I wasn't talking about leaven in bread? People who have dull of understanding jump to conclusions without fully taking something into consideration. And as a result, they're constantly misunderstanding and they're not allowing knowledge to penetrate into their hearts, into their minds and into their souls. And God wants us to have the ability to receive what he gives to us and and for that to happen, we must not have a hardened heart, a heart that does not receive instruction. So the question is, if Jesus had such a problem with his first disciples, is it possible he has similar problems with us that when he speaks to us, we don't allow it to go deep inside us? We don't allow it to sink inside us. Is our heart hardened? Is your heart hardened? Have you sat under the word of God for so long with no change? Uh, you hear it over and over and over, but it doesn't go anywhere inside you. And there are three reasons I will offer you why people have a hardened heart. The first one is pride. Pride is when you think you know it all. I have it all. I am the best. Nobody can teach me anything. When we have a sense of pride, nothing gets inside us. We are so full of ourselves that nothing can be added to us. And I hope that is not your problem. The second uh, reason why people can be dull of understanding is their pain. Pain can make us harden our hearts because we've had painful experiences, we've gone through bad experiences, and we allow the experiences to harden us so nothing new comes to us. We cannot forgive, we cannot move on, we cannot learn anything else. Everything is referred to our pain. And the third reason is because of power. When people feel they're so powerful, they think they're all mighty. They can do everything by themselves, uh, either because of their high position or because of prosperity. Uh, they get intoxicated with power and nothing can come into them. So pride, pain, and power can make us harden our heart so that knowledge does not penetrate into our hearts. And I hope that doesn't refer to you. And if it does, God can help you to soften your heart. So let's pray and say with me, Heavenly Father, touch my heart with your spirit. Deliver me from anything that will harden my heart towards you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. May the Lord soften your heart today. I'm Pastor Mesa Otterville. Shalom, peace, and life to you.